So we are back for another season of I Love a Mama's Boy. What can you tease about what we'll get to see happen with you two this season? I think uh, season four is probably going to be the craziest one yet. We definitely have a lot of surprises for the viewers that they were not expecting. Hopefully they think I've grown up a little bit by the end of it. <laughs> I, might, I, I might be topless. Oh my God. <laughs> That does not happen. I said might. The eight, you know, we, uh, <laughs> I think season four, um, seasons prior have been leading up to this. So I think it's going to be a really big year. Um, we're excited for everybody to see it. And Kelly, I know you're trying to help, ha help out Matt find the perfect match. What kind of partner are you hoping that he finds? Um, I'm going to say a girl that does not want to fight with me it's I, don't, most important. I, I don't want any competition and matt what are your thoughts on your mom trying to help out um and find your partner uh, obviously you want someone that gets along with the whole family yeah i think mom can sometimes be a little bit much um but i know she has very good intentions a little bit i know she has very good intentions though and i think it is important to get family's opinion about the person you're going to be dating you know the person you want to see a future with so while mom and I might take it to the next level sometimes uh <laughs> I do think it's very important and next, I, le next level is a good thing I was gonna say next level I saw in the trailer that you brought mom on a first date uh what was that experience like and why did you want to bring along your mom people are gonna have to see the episode when it comes out um and see how all that really came to be. So it's going to be exciting. Because we're buddies. <laughs> we love a tease. We love a tease. We'll have to tune in for that. Um, now, Matt, what are you looking to find in your next relationship? How would you describe your perfect um, girlfriend or partner? Or like, what are you looking for? I think fi being family oriented is huge. Um, yes. I want her to be family oriented. I want her to... Um, have her own, you know, goals and ambitions as well. I think it's important to have that in a partner. Um, obviously, I want her to get along with mom and the family. And yeah. I think that at the end of the season, there's going to be babies. A, yes, babies, the whole thing. I think at the end of the season, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to come out that people are going to be excited about, hopefully. <laughs> Now, Kelly, I also saw in the trailer that there were some emotional moments. We saw you crying. Can you talk a little or tease about the emotional moments that are going to unfold this season? Um, sure. I think I think I cried a lot. So <laughs> there's definitely tears. This um, yeah, I was very, very emotional. Uh, could have been some menopause issues, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I think that there is definitely a lot more emotions this season. Or there mom is and I yeah. definitely yeah um and the reason I, for those is you know I people feel are gonna... him, I feel him slipping away running away slipping away <laughs> all same <laughs> well it seems like your relationship is better than ever mother son duo you're on you're on a cruise right now so it seems yeah. like things are going well with you both so I love your bond <laughs> I think it's so special what are you going to buy me in town? It is special. Yes. Uh, we are here. We're here with a bunch of family. Um, and yes. it's been a great time. You know, this is something that we like to do. We travel with, you know, not just each other. We travel with the family a lot as well. We do. And it's a great time. Now, I feel like with being on a platform like TLC, there are some misconceptions about your mother, son, um, your your bond. Um, what do you, what kind of message would you want to share for those like haters or like how do you react to those kind of misconceptions that people have? So you, you go first. So I think we definitely have a lot of people that um, that judge. To be honest with you, you know, whenever you go on a television show, no matter the network, you're going to have people that want to tear you down. True. And mom and I have been doing this now for four years and there are some rough days, but to be honest with you, we know our story. We know that sometimes, you know, on TV, we might look a little crazier. Um, but I think the reason my mom and I keep coming back every season. And I think the reason that we are the fan favorites is because we try to be as genuine as we can. And we try to really let people into our life. Um, and you know what, you're going to have haters in whatever you do. So you basically just ignore them. My turn. 
So we just had a fan come up to us about 10 minutes ago and gave us a hug. And she said she loved watching us and it made her day. I love those people. We have a lot of fans, but we do have some haters. And I know Matt's not going to say it, but I'm going to say, Back off, bitches. Oh, my God. You know what? Come and find me if you think that you want to hate on me. And I'll introduce you to my husband. I feel like it's underappreciated having that bond with, like, your your parents. I feel like that's, like, special to have, you know? Absolutely. Um, I feel these days, you know, unfortunately, not a lot of people have that bond with, you know, their parents, mom, dad, you know. And it is extremely important. I think one of the great things is that my mom always made sure that my sister and I were close with the family. We've always grown up in a very, you know, household where you did things together. And I you think that that choice. really fosters things. So I think it's great. And it is definitely um, undervalued in a lot of ways. But I think people that are looking for that, you know, yeah, there's, there's something unique about it, Stephanie. I was also going to ask, how have your lives changed since being on the show? I would say definitely we had no idea this many people would know who we were or who we are, I guess, yeah. you know. Um, Other than that, nothing's nothing, changed for me. Nothing's really changed for me in that aspect. I'd say it's definitely allowed me to become a lot tougher uh, in life, dealing with being in, you know, a public role like this that we are. Um, but it's always funny, too, when, yeah. you know, I'll get to meet people. And then, you know, we form a friendship or something. And then like, um, you know, two months later, they're all like, I knew who you were when I first met you. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. Like, other than that, though, everything's pretty much yeah. normal. And looking back at past seasons of the, or the past seasons that you both have been on, is there anything that you would change or do differently? Like looking back at how everything unfolded? I think this show for me is definitely a lot of growth. Um, because, you know, when I started out this show, that was about four years ago, you know, I've had relationships that have been played out on the show and there were definitely things sometimes that I didn't handle in the most mature way. Um, but I think that that's something you learn, you know, as you're growing up, you're dating and things like that. And it is really rough to date in the sure. public eye because everybody has an opinion about what your relationship is, you know, people pick sides. And I think that for me, it's definitely been a show about growth just for me personally for me um i don't have any regret um, and i loved doing every single minute of it um i feel if you have regrets about something that that means you're truly uh not in it and there's nothing there's nothing that i regret yeah. And I think definitely once we sat back after we wrapped up season four, we were like, this is really, this is the, the story we want to share a lot. Because like I said, like for me, this is a big season of growth and I'm so excited for everybody to see it. And like I said, some people are going to be pretty surprised about it. Uh, it's going to be great.